Let's create a new project. File new project. We are going to be doing only console apps for our course. Make sure you choose Visual C Sharp console app.net framework. Come down here and give it a name. I am choosing the path where I have cloned my changes. So this is the path where I have cloned my repository. So I'm choosing that to create this exercise one. Maybe this is okay. Week two exercise one. Okay. Okay. This is my program.cs on the, the main screen. And on the right, I have my solutions explorer. Okay, we are modifying this program.cs file here. Always write code inside the static void main method between the curly braces. That's rule number one. I like to start by giving a name. So I like for the program to always like print the name of the program. A good practice so it's gonna say week two exercise one you can leave some spaces here if you want okay let me talk a little bit about the two main data types we are going to be dealing with rather three main data types so data types so we have memory we have memory where we store our information in a human brain similarly computers have variables that store data for short time after this program is done executing that data will be lost that is why we use databases to store long-term information the information we want later so for this particular video we will be limiting ourselves to using variables okay so we might want to store numbers and texts. So usually those are common um, data types. Everything you see in green is called comments. These are comments. So this is a one line comment. This is a multi line comment like that. Okay. So the first data type is going to be int int means this particular variable is going to store um, whole numbers okay no decimals so you say the type of the data give a space and then name of the variable let's store double this guy Double is another data type. It will store decimal values. Okay. So if you want to store 5.43, you would use that. If you want to store 5, you would use that. The third is going to be string. So this would store hello. Okay, so we have created three variables. You have to create the variable and assign some value before you use them or print them. Okay, so let's do that now. So here we are going to say integer num variable equal to five. So I am putting the value of 5 inside the variable called integer num. Real num equal to 5.46. I am putting this value in a real num variable. Message equal to hello. Okay, string data always has to be enclosed in quotations.
okay so this is how you assign values to variables now let's show those variables to the console okay the computer is going to show these variables to the console so we have to say console dot right line okay let's do this three times so here inside the two parentheses we are going to say integer num so i want to show integer num i want to show real num and then i want to show message So the last line we want to do console dot read key. Now I go and say file build solution. I will make sure that the build is successful by looking at the output window. It says build one succeeded zero failed so i'm good to go i can close this box now let me click on the start with the green arrow okay the first let's compare this to what we wrote here so console dot right line week two exercise two is written here next i said show me go to the next console dot right line i'm saying show me integer num which is five then i said real num which is 5.46 then i said right line message hello which is what is written here now this is waiting for my input so i can do any keystroke and it will stop okay i want to bring to your attention something very key here that you want to remember So there is a difference between this and this and that difference is the using of the quotes when you use variable names just by themselves you do not enclose them in quotes just for any string that is not stored you would use quotes please remember that if this is incorrect if you do this you get the red squiggly line it says i don't know what this end is i don't know what office or program is you want this to be a text that is printed as is so you have to enclose that in quotes if you enclose this in quotes that's a big problem so let's see what happens if you enclose this in quotes instead of hello it says message because anything within the quote will be printed as it is so remember not to enclose variables inside quotations you can find this program in my github i want you to actually create a week two exercise one walk through my my code changes like follow that and actually do it so that you get some practice.